The date is June 29th, 2008, 6.32 p.m. I'm creating this message to let the people of the world, or whoever happens to hear this, know the truth about what is going on with regards to the alien presence in our world, as well as interstellar space, and within our own solar system. I myself am a worker in one of the underground bases located near Groom Lake. I have done my work there for the past eight years, and within the next coming months, will be discharged. Now what I'm going to tell you, you may want to take with a grain of salt, but I assure you, everything that I am about to say is truth, is fact. And whether you know it or believe it or not, everything that I will tell you is common knowledge within the Black Ops community at the most highest and secretive levels. Now as I said, I, I've worked inside an underground base near Groom Lake for the past eight years and have done my work there as a researcher and analyst working within the realm of the ET program as we call it or as it's known in the Black Ops community as G28. What we do here is research, analyze, and investigate the extraterrestrial presence within our solar system and other dimensions and what I'm going to tell you today is the truth about what is going on I will try not to be too vague uh, in my revelations however I do not want to say too much as I have already committed a felony in the eyes of our government just by speaking on the subject and I will be leaving soon after my discharge and I have asked the owner of this video to which I'm sending uh, not to publicize this video for at least two years after its recording to ensure my safety as well as theirs. Now, as I've said, and let me make this clear, the presence of alien beings and the technology does exist. Uh, it, it is real as you or me, and, and it's a whole lot more out there than even the most diehard believers could, could possibly fathom. The, the truth is that we, and by we I mean this planet and the people of this planet, are in essence blind to what is really going on in the cosmos and interstellar space. What people call aliens, uh, we call IBs, or, or in layman's terms, interdimensional beings. And what we found out and have known about since the early 70s is that, in simplest terms, other dimensions or planes, as we call them, exist and lay on top of each other, almost stacked, as if you had a blanket with another blanket stacked on top of it, and another blanket stacked on top of it. To explain it so you can understand, you can imagine the Earth and our reality as a thin blanket, and all of these other higher dimensions are the blankets laying directly on top of ours. However, we can only see our own blanket. Now the alien beings or the ships that we have seen in videos and that many people have, have captured over the years are in fact what we call jumpers in that they exist in their relative dimensions but have in fact jumped into ours. Uh, we have discovered that most of the time we are unable to see them as they are at a wavelength uh, indifferent to our own and our senses, eyes, and ears cannot detect. Um, from the information that I have gathered and been briefed on, every planet, star, and galaxy within our own plane and universe, as we see it, exists also 
in these other dimensions. Uh, we've detected that we know of and that I've been briefed on at least four other dimensions that do exist. Now, as I said, every planet we know of, every galaxy, does exist in these other dimensions. However, with each new dimension, each planet, galaxy, star takes on a different form. Uh, to explain it in the most simple, simplest terms, you can look at our own planet, Jupiter, which is in the outer reaches of our solar system. Now, to us, it, it, it's a deadly gaseous planet, completely uninhabitable. However, when you look at Jupiter in an elevated dimension, you will see that it has completely changed in all forms. You will see that it's no longer a deadly ball of gas, but is now solid, has a different color, and is now inhabited. We know for a fact this is true due to the fact that the government has the technology to detect these higher dimensions and actually get a small view of what the solar system looks like on the other side, as we call it, in these other dimensions. There is much we do not know about the universe and how it works. However, here are the facts that I can confirm as truth and were made known to me and that I and the other people that I worked with have been briefed on. Now, we are not alone in the universe. Uh, there are alien beings within our own dimension of space as well as other dimensions. The planet Earth is an early stage, I guess you could say training ground, if you will, where by which we as beings will live until we advanced to the higher dimensions. Now, we are not the bottom of the food chain, and, and we have discovered that there are at least two dimensions below our own plane. Uh, but that, that is as far as I will go regarding that. Now, I'm getting a little bit low on time, so I will leave you with a few other important things that people will no doubt want to know about later in time once this video is made public. Now, these are things that I have been briefed on by my superiors and that are common knowledge in the Black Ops community. Now, the planet that we know of as Mars was at one time inhabited, uh, but again, at one time was wiped out by the people who inhabited the planet which were much more technologically advanced than we are uh, which we we discovered by testing and analyzing the chemical residue uh, found from the blasts around the planet uh, as well as artifacts that we've also discovered on the planet including the infamous glass tubes seen in the few of the publicly made photographs from NASA. Uh, now these are not glass structures, but a glass-like material that is about a thousand times stronger than any material or steel that we have on our own planet. Uh, these tubes were used as a means of travel uh, underground and above ground by the people who inhabited this planet. Uh, it is thought from our research that there are still uh, uh, an ET presence inhabiting Mars, uh, but uh, again, this is this is as far as I will go, uh, and that I was briefed on regarding that matter. Now, I'm, I'm not trying to be completely vague, but I am trying to give you a picture of, of what is going on out there that that doesn't completely put me in in more danger than I am already in just by revealing the few things that I have. Uh, one of the last things that I will reveal, uh, and that is definitely a fact, and that I have been briefed on, and that many other people involved with the Black Op community have been briefed on, and that is our own moon, uh, which does in fact have alien bases on it, and also has bases from our own government. Uh, now, there is an ET presence, which is primarily located on the dark side of the moon. The Apollo program was, in all actuality, a reconnaissance mission, so that we could research what was exactly there and who. 
uh, you will notice that many of the photos from the Apollo missions uh, have airbrushed out buildings and bases and this is the truth of the matter. Uh, about half of the video that, that you will see that is document, documented from the Apollo missions uh, was in fact shot here on Earth at Area 51. In fact, if you look at satellite imagery, you can actually see what's left of a crater field uh, created at Area 51 that was used in the filming. Now, the, the, the truth is that most of the footage from the moon was simply cluttered with bases, with alien buildings, and from what one astronaut said, and I'm quoting, uh, what were constant a constant presence of alien vehicles flying over the surface, uh, cluttering up the footage. So again, they showed the American people what they could and recreated the rest uh, here on Earth that they couldn't show. Uh, from what we know, the dark side of the moon is where most of the alien presence is located. Uh, it, it's, it's a more primitive alien race from what we can see and our research tells us. Um, it's, it's more primitive than the alien beings you would see on higher dimensions, but still thousands if not millions of years ahead of us. Uh, now we have our own bases uh, which are primarily located in or near the Sea of Tranquility, which is the site of Apollo 11, and also one base that I know of located near the crater Sabine D. Uh, to this day, we are still sending secret missions to and from the moon. Uh, however, I do not know the complete details of what we are doing there.